Welcome and thank you for purchasing the HiCam SE21 Cloud Home Security Camera. So I'm going to walk you through how to add a camera uh, by the first method, which is the QR code. Um, but before we talk about powering on the camera, uh, step number one is to go to wherever you download your apps, whether it be the App Store or Google Play, and download the UIP Cams app. Um, once you have done so, and we're going to kind of do a screen share so you can see, you will see a screen that has um, a username and password. Um, most likely you have not created an account yet, so you want to select the create an account or create account at the bottom of the screen. Once you've gone through the steps of creating an account, you can then enter your username and password. All right, so now that you have entered your username and password, you're going to see a screen. Um, this is kind of the main app screen and you will see an option for add a camera. You don't even have to go into the menu settings on the, in the uh, menu bar on the top left there. To add a camera, you can do it straight from the home screen. So you're gonna tap that icon and you'll see the top option is add E2EE high cam. So go ahead and select that. And then uh, we are going to add a camera by QR code. So tap that top selection there. The next thing that you are going to see is the Wi-Fi settings. So go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi uh, name and password. And then you are going to see a QR reader. So now it's time to go ahead and grab the camera and plug it in. Okay, so I have plugged the camera in and I heard one beep. So at this point, you wanna take your phone or tablet whatever you've chosen to, uh, chosen to use to, uh, to set up the app. Face that towards the camera about 20 centimeters away and just kind of move it back and forth, like so. Now, something that I'm gonna recommend, right when you get it out of the box, it's gonna be good to, um, to reset the camera. So if you're doing this and you notice that you don't hear a beep from your camera when this is taking place, Go ahead and on the very back of the camera, you're gonna hit the reset button. It's this black button on the bottom lower left side. So hold that down for a few seconds. Okay, so I have reset the camera and now we're going to take the QR code, face it toward the camera once again and see if we can get it to hit beep. Okay, so it was just a slight beep, but that's exactly what we wanted. So on this screen, you're going to see that there is a default name for the camera as well as the IP address. So that's the camera. You want to tap that. And then on the next screen, you're going to see that there is um, a couple of options here. You've got your camera name, you see the IP address, um, the alarm type, video and bandwidth, and then level. Um, so I'll touch on that in a couple things here. Number one, you can tap on the camera name and you can change that to whatever you'd like. Uh, that will make most sense with your house. Um, you can select the alarm type, whether you want that to be perimeter, interior or none um, and then for the level that's the quality that is the quality of your video so if you want the resolution to be low select low mid is is obviously in the middle and then high is going to be your highest resolution we're going to keep this on high for now because i definitely want to see as much detail as possible and now you're going to hit the next button Okay, so you heard three beeps there. That means the camera has officially been added. And um, I'm gonna set that down for a moment, but we can now go back to the app screen. You're gonna see two things here on the app screen. On the left-hand side, uh, there is the camera icon. So that is actually your camera. If you tap that, that is going to be a live view of your camera. So you will be able, you should be able to see um, some footage of the camera in action. And then, um, if we click back, you're going to see another icon, which is your camera hub. This allows for your NVR functionality, and we will go into that at another time. So that was pretty quick and easy. You have successfully added a camera. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.